So hello, Kingdom Kids. It's really great to see you again. How are you on this sunny day? Um, let's just start off with a fun song that I know we all enjoy to sing. I'm going to play the video, but instead of showing it, we'll just try to do the motions together. Remember, I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart, although I think that's the third verse. We all know the first one. And um, no, that was right. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. And the next one is God. I've got the peace that passeth understanding down in my heart. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. Joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to say. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blood that we do down in the depth of my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. It's the path of understanding down in my heart. Down in my heart to say. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so love my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Good job. Okay. So, when we are really, really excited about something, we all often stop to focus on it. We'll even give up our favorite things just so we can see what this new thing might be like, right? Remember how Jesus called his disciples? Many of them were fishermen. But when Jesus called them, they dropped their nets and followed him. They tried a, a, a new adventure with Jesus, and it was the greatest adventure ever. So there's a television game called The Price is Right. You probably haven't heard of it. Your parents may not have heard of it, but... I remember it from when I was a kid, and it's been on TV for 50 years. And the name of the show is The Price is Right. Um, so we bought a package of cookies. And we thought, oh, this will be a fun thing to see if we can guess the correct price, right? We know what it is from the receipt that we got when we bought it. So let's see if we can guess the price. The chocolate covered graham crackers. Yeah, our fave. Graham cookies. Yep, yep, thank you, Mr. Joe. So if you think that the price of this package, which he's gonna keep showing you, is more than four dollars, you can raise your hand. No. If you raised your hand, you would be out of the game because these cookies do not cost more than four dollars. They're deluxe grams. Oh, well, okay. If you think the price of this package of cookies is less than $2, raise your hand. Well, if you raise your hand, you would be out of the game because these cookies cost more than $2. So if you think the price of these cookies is more than $3, raise your hand. If you raise your hand, you would be out of the game because they cost more than three. So we know it costs less than four and more than three, right? Now I'm going to call out a specific price. If I call out the price that you think is the right price for these cookies, raise your hand. So let's try $3.39. Did you raise your hand? Okay, if you didn't, good, because you'd be out of the game. It doesn't cost $3.39. Let's try this price. $3.49. Did you raise your hand? Well, good if you didn't. Bad if you did, because you'd be out of the game. It did not cost $3.49. I'm going up, so let's try the next price. $3.59. Did you raise your hand? Yes, that was the price. 
These cookies cost $3.59. If your hand was up or is up, you are a winner. Okay, so these cookies are good, Mr. Baggett and I think, Mr. Joe, and $3.59 is a lot of money for a package of cookies, though, right? Are they worth it? Every day we have to make choices about the value of things. We ask ourselves, how much am I willing to pay? Today's Bible verse is, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant on the lookout for choice pearls. When he discovered a pearl of great value, he sold everything he owned and bought it. In this parable, Jesus tells the story of a merchant who is looking for fine pearls. He ends up finding one beautiful, valuable pearl and sells everything he has to buy it. Now he has nothing except for one big, beautiful pearl. He isn't even a merchant anymore. He has become the guy with the big pearl. Ha, huh, now what? Jesus wasn't talking about buried treasure or beautiful pearls. He was talking about the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is the greatest treasure, another invisible treasure one could ever want. It is more precious than silver, gold, or jewels. That is why Jesus calls us to give up all that we have and follow him. Is that too great a price? I would say the price is right. Very true, Mr. Joe, very true. So now we have a really interesting video with kids explaining the story that illustrates this part that Jesus says that the pearl that we sometimes seek as treasure, the most important thing is to be with Jesus. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> And there you have it. So in this story, the treasure they were looking for was a pearl. And imagine spending all your money for one little pearl. 
Um, even if it was beautiful. And big, it says here. And big, thank you. Imagine spending all that money, then what do you do with it? So what we're saying is those things are tempting, but the most important thing, the most important treasure is Jesus and our relationship with him. So I have some questions for you, Mr. Joe. Uh-oh. Here's one. Have you ever given up something in order to try something new or different? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, when I was much younger, uh, my family lived in England, and, I, and going to college was a big and new thing uh, because I had to go from England to New Orleans, Louisiana, wow. a place I had never been. A and long way all, away. And all by myself. Uh, so that was, that was certainly a, a new beginning. Absolutely. And that's where I met you. Yes. I only came from Virginia, which seemed far away to me, too. Um, but nevertheless, it must have been worth it since we met each other. Absolutely. Not Absolutely. to mention a little education. Who else <clears throat> left behind a life of treasures, would you say? Well, I don't know about treasures, but certainly a life. Uh, that's shown in the lesson today, the disciples. I mean, some of them uh, had, had many different uh, occupations. Uh, fishermen, uh, there were a number of them who were fishermen, and they left that life. Uh, the only life they knew. That's right, to follow Jesus. Absolutely. Okay, so what does this parable look like for your family? When families want to build up invisible family treasure, they can go on little adventures together. And we don't mean like big, you could take a hike, and that's cool, but sometimes we can't do that if the weather's not right. You can also choose a pearl, a small treasure, from a list of fun things that you might choose to do. Uh, I'll say them the things that you might do now. I'll send the list in the email when I send the video link. Um, but you may think of your own treasures to do. But here are some suggestions. Take silly photos together. Bake a treat and share it. Eat a meal at the table together. Maybe you play a board game. Maybe you watch the sunset or a movie. Or maybe you just go on a walk. Lots of fun things to do to build up invisible treasures of joy. So let's end with a prayer. Fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, you call us to follow you, giving up things that distract us. Help us find you in the simplest of ways. God, we are ready to find you and willing to follow you. Amen. So there's a good coloring page for today that I'll send with the email. And Mr. Joe's going to show it to you here. And you have some hands holding a pearl. And then the verse from today about how... Um, the treasure is not the pearl, but the joy we find in following Jesus. Um, and that's it for today. We have a couple of announcements. Um, we're going to be taking a picture or a video. I'm not sure which. I'm meeting Miss Amy, Avery's mom, today. And we're going to see how many cans we have. The final tower may not be until a week from tomorrow, Saturday, or the 28th, is when we'll have the final tower. But we want to see how close we are to the top. Maybe we're even taller than the height of Pastor Martin. We'll find out. And then lastly, just a reminder that we're having the really good Palm Sunday um, Festival at 1.30 on the 28th. That's Sunday, the 28th at 1.30. Um, we'll be masked and distanced, but we'll have dying of Easter eggs, crafts for people old and young. It will be wonderful. Well, we'll say goodbye. Have a great week, and God bless you all.